Will Wisnett enlisted in the Navy to become a nuclear reactor operator. We uh, went out to uh, see the Air Force recruiter. And I'll tell you that it was a uh, Friday, it was about two o'clock in the afternoon, and that man was nowhere to be seen. He had been home for at least two hours. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I tried to pull on that door and it didn't open, and uh, at that point it was there. The Navy recruiter was right next door and he stuck his head out and he goes, how can I help you? And so there we were. Next thing I know, this man has a contract in front of me. In four years, Wisnett was given command of his own division. I think it finally hit me what I was doing whenever I was going through the final portion of our school. We go, we have a, I don't want to say it's a simulator, it's an old submarine we converted and you have to sit down behind a, a reactor and you have an over instruct and, and the first time you you know, you put your hand on the switch to control the control rods and you make fissions with your hands, you're like, wow, this is my job. As section leader, he was responsible for training over 200 junior sailors. And, hey, I was just here to get a free college and you know, get some experience, maybe make a little money. But then as I got to be more and more senior, I got to be responsible for the lives and development of the people that I was in charge of. And I got to, you know, be a first-hand person to being critical to execute a mission. Before being discharged from the Navy, he earned the rank of Chief Petty Officer. It was an honor to serve and I, I'm glad I could do it for all everyone I know, for my community, for my family. Now he has traded his sea legs for a career in finances. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.